Today, we're venturing into the ocean of the universe, where, like an iceberg, most of its substance lies hidden beneath the surface. The part we can see, touch, and examine with our high-tech telescopes and sensors, that's just the tip of the iceberg, making up a tiny 4% of the whole cosmos. The colossal 96% lurking beneath? That's the home of the cosmic phantoms, dark matter and dark energy. The colossal twins that dominate our universe yet remain shrouded in mystery. For decades, these elusive giants have baffled the greatest minds in physics, making our universe's mass energy budget an enduring enigma. Now envision these twins as the hidden puppeteers of a grand cosmic ballet. Dark Matter, the invisible choreographer, holds about 27% of the universe in its grasp. Though we can't see or touch it, its unseen hands guide the graceful dance of the galaxies, weaving a cosmic web that shapes the universe's grand structure. Then there's Dark Energy, the silent maestro, making up around 68% of the universe. It's the unsung hero, silently conducting the performance from the background, accelerating the universe's expansion like a symphony increasing in tempo. These invisible entities are as intriguing as they are fundamental. To understand them is akin to deciphering the secret language of the universe, unlocking the mysteries that lie beneath the observable cosmos. What's causing the universe to accelerate its expansion? How do they form the cosmic web that structures the universe? These are the tantalizing puzzles that have physicists around the world scratching their heads, pushing the boundaries of our understanding, and keeping the thrill of discovery alive in the world of astrophysics. So buckle up as we journey through the infinite cosmic ocean, diving deeper beneath the surface to unveil the secrets of our mysterious universe. Sit tight and watch the full video as we are about to explore the leading theories on dark matter and dark energy. Cold Dark Matter CDM Theory Let's go on a cosmic road trip and take a pit stop at something known as the cold dark matter theory. It's a wild conspiracy theory of the universe suggesting that most of the dark matter is made of cold particles that aren't in any rush. They're just chilling, really. Picture this. It's like there's a secret party happening in the universe, but the guests are invisible. These chilled out particles don't make noise or sparkle, but they huddle up and they give shape to all the galactic eye candy we enjoy. They're the unseen party planners of our cosmos, deciding where the stars go and how galaxies grow. You might ask, how do we even know they exist if we can't see them? That is a good question. Let me answer it. Cold particles leave us breadcrumbs through their gravitational effects. They're like the phantom puppeteers pulling strings in the background arranging the galaxies and cosmic structures in a dance we're just beginning to understand. WIMP theory, weakly interacting massive particles. Now I talk about something called the WIMP theory. Imagine a quiet masquerade ball where elusive dancers sway and twirl, impacting the party but never revealing their faces. These dancers are the WIMPs, or weakly interacting massive particles. Although they seem aloof, they could be the hidden life of the party, making up 27% of our universe. Now, weakly interacting massive particles might sound like a mouthful, but let's break it down. Massive just means they've got some weight to them. They aren't ghost-like apparitions. And they are weakly interacting because they're a bit shy and seldom mingle with regulars. Picture those mysterious particles influencing the ball with their movements, but rarely making contact and billions of these particles might be waltzing right through you as we speak. The WIMP theory is like an exciting plot twist in the story of particle physics. It's closely tied to the concept of supersymmetry, which is the idea that every particle we know has a secret twin, a superpartner. One of these could very well be our secretive WIMP. These wallflower particles, the WIMPs, might just be the answer to the mystery of dark matter. They could be the secret ingredient explaining why galaxies spin the way they do, why the universe has so much mass we can't account for, and why celestial clusters form. Now, trying to spot a wimp in this cosmic ball is no easy task. These particles are masters of hide-and-seek, making them incredibly hard to find. But our patient scientists aren't giving up. They've set up sophisticated detectors deep underground, away from the distracting hustle of cosmic rays, hoping to spot a wimp deciding to interact with ordinary matter. The hunt is on, so who knows what we'll discover at the cosmic masquerade next? Axion theory. 
Now, let's shift our cosmic gaze to something called the axion theory. Picture something as elusive as a whisper in the wind, and you've got an axion. These theoretical particles are as light as a feather, a billion times lighter than an electron or maybe even less. Spotting one is like trying to catch a breeze with your bare hands. But the thing is, if axions are real, they're breezing through you, me, our planet, and the stars all the time without us even noticing. Now you might ask, why on Earth, or in the universe, did we think up axions? Well, they're the product of something called quantum chromodynamics, the physics theory that describes the antics of quarks and gluons, those tiny particles inside protons and neutrons. We had a puzzle called the strong CP problem, which questioned why matter and antimatter seem to play nicely under the strong nuclear force. It's like expecting a rock band and an orchestra to produce a cacophony, only to discover they created a beautiful symphony. Axions, if they exist, could be the masterful conductor behind this harmonious performance. Modified Newtonian Dynamics, MOND. Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND for short, is a very interesting theory as it offers an alternative universe where Sir Isaac Newton's laws of gravity need a little tweaking. It could flip our understanding of the cosmos upside down. Imagine the classic laws of gravity as an old school song. They work great for most tunes, but then along comes a song with a different rhythm and things don't just sync up. That's what MOND tries to address. It suggests that gravity might have some new moves for slow-moving or low-mass objects. In our regular lives, gravity dances along just as Newton predicted. But once we zoom out to the grand cosmic scale, things get a little funky. According to MOND, gravitational attraction doesn't weaken with distance as much as Newton's theory suggests. So instead of blaming these cosmic mysteries on some unseen dark matter, MOND says it's gravity's own subtle rhythm change in the cosmos that's causing the anomalies. So, for dark energy, we get three leading theories. The cosmological constant, quintessence, and the multiverse theory. Let me explain them. One, cosmological constant theory. Can you remember when Albert Einstein crafted his general theory of relativity and included something called the cosmological constant, which is represented by the Greek letter lambda? He thought this constant was a cosmic break, stopping the universe from expanding. But later, Edwin Hubble's observations revealed that the universe was expanding, and Einstein thought he'd made a big mistake. Fast forward to the end of the 20th century, and a surprising plot twist appeared. The universe wasn't just growing, it was doing so at an increasingly fast pace. Suddenly, Einstein's mistake, the cosmological constant, came back into focus. Only now it seemed to be a cosmic accelerator pedal rather than a break. This dark energy or cosmological constant, making up about 70% of the universe's total energy, was like a hidden force repelling galaxies away from each other, causing them to speed up rather than slow down. 2. Quintessence Theory Our universe is not just growing, it's doing so faster and faster. Scientists realized this and scratched their heads, What's causing this, they asked. Remember Einstein's cosmological constant? That mysterious dark energy acting like an invisible cosmic push, causing galaxies to sprint away from each other? Well, some scientists started to wonder if this dark energy might be changing and not just a fixed force. This is where quintessence comes into the picture. It's named after the ancient Greek word for the fifth element. This theory proposes that dark energy isn't just a steady cosmic push. Instead, it's dynamic, evolving over time and space. It's like an unseen energy field growing across the universe, pushing galaxies apart at varying speeds. Imagine the early universe as a pot of water just beginning to boil. At first, the heat, or in our case dark energy, is spread out evenly, causing everything to expand uniformly. But as it continues to heat up, bubbles start to form, leading to faster expansion in some places. That is what quintessence could be doing to our universe. 3. Theory of Multiverse Let's imagine our universe as a massive cosmic bubble bath. Each bubble represents a different universe, and we're floating in just one of them. This is the mind-bending idea behind the multiverse theory. Now, you know that dark energy. 
the mysterious stuff pushing our universe to expand faster and faster? Well, there's a perplexing question we're trying to crack. Why does the amount of dark energy in our universe seem to be just right? Like Goldilocks porridge, it's not too much, not too little, but just enough for life as we know it to exist. The multiverse theory provides an exciting answer to this riddle. It suggests that our universe could be just one of countless others out there. Each of these universes could have different amounts of dark energy, different laws of physics, and heck, even different dimensions. In some universes, there might be so much dark energy that galaxies, stars, and planets can't form due to super rapid expansion. In others, there might be too little, causing the universe to collapse in on itself. But in a handful of universes, maybe just our own, the conditions hit the jackpot. The amount of dark energy is just right, allowing galaxies to form, stars to light up, and life to bloom. This concept, known as the anthropic principle, suggests that our universe seems perfectly fine-tuned for life because, well, here we are to observe it. So while the idea of a multiverse is still up for debate among scientists, it undeniably adds an exciting layer of possibility to our cosmic exploration. We're just a tiny speck in a possibly infinite cosmic ocean full of another universe's bubbles. Now, isn't that a trip? What do you think, guys? If our universe is just one of many, what do you think we might find in those other cosmic bubbles? Aliens with their own version of YouTube, perhaps? Let us know in the comment box below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us on our next galactic adventure as we continue to explore these mind-bending concepts. Keep your curiosity alive and stay tuned.